Hi there, it's Jojo the Thrifty Teacher here with another haul. I just got back, I'm still hot. I just got back from walking dogs at the animal shelter. Here's where I volunteer at, Arizona Animal Welfare League. Whew. So I was able to spend some time with my favorite boy, Luno. Um, he did not want to go back in his kennel, which he was doing really good with that. So I hope he's not getting... Sometimes when dogs spend too much time in the shelter, they start regressing on their behavior. And um, I hope that's not the case. Um, I want to take him for a couple days, but with summer school happening, I can't do that right now. It wouldn't be fair because I want to be able to spend an excessive amount of time with him and not have to leave him here. It just wouldn't be fair. But you can foster them or you can take them on slumber parties. And a slumber party is you pick them up on Sunday when the shelter closes, closes, they're closed on Monday, and then you bring them back Tuesday before they open. So I could do that. Um, but I just don't want him to be like, I ain't going back in that kennel since I was home with you, lady. So we'll see. Um, and then I went and got my bagels in the morning. And then I went to, where'd I go? I went grocery shopping. And then I had to stop at the storage to get something that sold. So um, it was like one of those bottle diffuser infuser things I don't know I've had it for a long time they made me an offer of $24 and I said yes because I've had it for over a year so and it's a really nice diffuser it's never been used and it just is real pretty it has peonies on the outside it's really nice um it's one of those refillable ones with kind of like a wick I don't know any hoozle let's go ahead and get this show started I Somebody, I was watching a video the other day and somebody was saying how like there's just not quality stuff out there anymore and this person picks at like garage sales and Goodwill and I was like, sorry because I'm still finding lots of good stuff, lots of good stuff. So I am fortunate. Um, I don't need any more stuff, but it's a stress relief, right? I don't know. So let's go ahead and start this. Look how pretty that is. A needlepoint. Um, this was $249. I um you have to check the the sold comps on these because some of the dimensions don't go for that much and some of them do. I pick them up if I like the patterns on them or the scene. And I don't care if I only make a couple dollars on it because I just think these are so cool. I wish I had the patience to do it. I really do, but I don't. And then this. This is, look at this box. So it's, um, it's yeah, virgin wool. And they're in there because I looked. I just thought the container was cool. Let's see what it says. Does it have a year? Moth proof. Ooh. Let's see. Old eyes. Comes from our box, our box in Salt Lake City. Mm. Doesn't have a year on it. It might inside. Chartreuse is the color. I think I paid up for this. Yeah, $7.49, but I couldn't pass it up. The box is so cool. And then I thought this was cute. Again, won't get that much for it. I paid $1.49. Might get like $5, $4. I just thought it was so neat. And it's made in Mexico. I mean, it has a dot com website on there. So it's not like it's super old, but I've never seen a towel like this before. Oh, and I just noticed it has the Mickey there. I don't know. I thought it was cute. People love Disney. Let's see, what else can I... Oh, that's a good one. Never mind. Hold on. Sometimes I forget what I bought, and then it's like Christmas. I bought this for myself because I've never had a pie server, but I liked the edge on it, and then I like the 1970s, 80s. It is stainless steel Taiwan, so it's vintage. Obviously, you can tell by the the design on there, but I just wanted it. So I bought it. 
This is William Sonoma, Heart Napkin Rings. William Sonoma is a good brand to look out for. And these look like they have never been used. Very cute. I love hearts. I love pink. So you don't have to just use this for Valentine's Day. I mean, it's very apropos, but you don't have to. So William Sonoma, look out for that. It's a good brand. Uh, this is Hidden Ponytail Seam When a Cowboy Hat Just Won't Do. It was on for sale for 24 bucks. It has the fake distressing on it. Cute little pattern. It was $5.49. This is brand new. It still has the witch McCallit inside. I don't know how much this was originally. Uh, I don't know, but it was on sale for $24.11. And I looked it up, and these go for about $20 some dollars. So cool, cool. This I paid up for, but I thought it was really cute. I love Lily Bloom everything. I think Lily Bloom is such a good brand. And it depends on what it is, what it'll sell for. But I did pay $4.49 for this. And it probably only goes for $12 to $15. But I would use this. I might just keep it. I don't know. It's cute. Oh my gosh, it's super cute. I might keep it. This is $4.49. I, I always want to call this uh, Run and Stimpy. Obviously, it's not. This is Rugrats. It could use a wash. So I'm going to need to wash it and stain treat it. It's a little backpack. Um, so I will wash this. I'll stain treat it first. I do what I think I got it from... Lori Tata, I think that's her name. Um, she does the Dawn dish soap, baking soda, and peroxide and mixes it and puts a paste on it. And it's gotten about 90% of the stains out of the stuff that I have tried it with. So that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at what I found. These are Pyrex. Are you kidding me right now? They're Pyrex. These are super cute. These are super cute. Look at it. Made for Pyrex wear. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I'm going to put these up here. Um, and this lady was looking at them. Well, I was grabbing them, and then she grabbed one, and I was like, oh, I missed one. She's like, no, 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 here for you. I was like, oh, that's so sweet, because I totally would have, because I was going to tell her, why don't you take one, so you'll have two, so you have a pair. And then this one, I think there was only two or three of these ones. Pyrex. I've never seen these before. These are so handy. Again, I'll list them, but I don't mind keeping them. I can't even remember how many I got, because I was like, ooh. How did nobody see these? They probably like, ew, avocado green. Uh, who cares? Right? Who cares? I got more of these, but wait. But wait. So that's one, two, three, four. Hold on. Hold on. Four. Oh, two. I, have, I always have them wrap it in the clothes. I'm like, can you wrap them? Because... Three. Um, they like to just throw all the glass in a bag, and I'm like, mm, does that does that make sense? I don't think that makes sense. This might be my Spanx bag. Hold on. Okay. Oh, this is Spanx. Now I know Spanx. It depends on what it is. But I thought this was nice. Just a little Spanx tops. It is a one X. I. If you could feel the feeling of Spanx. I mean, if you've touched Spanx before, you know what it feels like, but it's nice. It's nice. Yeah. And then I found, oh, this fresh produce. I've never seen this tag before. I've never seen that tag. And y'all know I love fresh produce. This is a 1X, so that will sell really nicely because it's a bigger size. Do, do, do. 
it doesn't this if you know fresh produce it doesn't look like their typical pattern does it this seems a little bit more tame as far as patterns go I mean I like it I think it's cute it's very cute one X and what I like about fresh produce too is it's made in the USA and it's just simple it's simple simple so if you just want to wear a sundress if you want to be modest it's just great this I didn't I don't think this was anything any special brand but I just loved the look of it this is called indigo rose 649 size large look how pretty that is I believe it I mean you could wear it with tights but I think it's just a short dress but I just loved this I love the look of that isn't that cute tight and a little bow it's very cute it's very very cute okay it's very very cute let's keep looking Any more breakable? Oh, another one. And another one. Oh, I have more in here. Hold on. Wait till you see this Miss Piggy that I told you about last time. Oh, yeah. Look at this. What is this? What brand? Gemco? I mean, it says nutmeg, but you don't have to use it for nutmeg. Isn't that cute? So cute. Let's put this to the side. Another one. Another one. So that's two, four, six. Six. This feels like a brown one. Nope. It feels like a brown one. Oh, what does a brown one feel like? I don't know. Okay. Is there anything else breakable? I feel like there is. Hold on, let me keep digging. Oh, there's two more breakables. Oh, so I do have four of these. I added another one of these. This is Sage. Why would you put it over that if somebody wanted to keep that? That's so dumb. You're just not even paying attention to your audience. Ugh. Okay. So I like these little shorts. Look at these little slip shorts. And this is the brand Vanity Fair. Size 20. Aren't these cute? $3.49 for those. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It does have a stain on it. Um, it looks like blood on there. So I'm going to wash that. I don't care if it doesn't come out. I think that's adorable. I'm keeping that for myself. And I found a Sphinx bodysuit thingy slimmer. And it has the straps too. So you can either wear it like that or like this. And this is a size medium. Hello. Somebody got rid of all their Spanx, apparently. Because I believe this is a Spanx. Oh, no. No, but I love this. This was $6.49. I, the, the brand's not, like, super great. Every size 2X. First of all, I bought it because of the size. It's just a little black dress, right? <laughs> But it has like, you can't tell, but yeah, you kind of can. Can you tell the two different fabrics from here to here? This is like a soft, like faux suede. Let me see what it's made from. It was made in Vietnam, so that's good. Let's see. If I can find, okay, here we go. 75% polyester, 20% ram. Oh, faux suede. I knew the side panels were faux suede. I just think that's so pretty. It's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. Let me keep going. Oh, yes. Well, I've never...
never seen a Hager bowl like this before. It's like a dog bowl, but not really. You'd probably put a bigger plant in it. But I've never seen a Hager dish like that before. Almost looks like one of those old lamp um, shades for your, you know, you put them up in the ceiling. Light fixture. This I paid up for. I paid $7.49. It's size medium. I just thought this was super pretty. Super, super pretty. Size medium and it's signature GJ, Gordon and James. They have a pretty good sell through, or not a sell through rate. I didn't check the sell through rate. Um, they have a pretty good sale rate. Shoulder pads. It's just cute. Even look at the buttons. It's just cute. I love that kind of stuff. And I love to watch people or see people wear it. Uh-oh, I have something breakable in here. What is it? Oh, look at this little guy. It's called a nibble bunny. I paid $4.49. These go for like between like 30 and 50 bucks. I just thought his little feety feet were so cute. Who would have thought? I just looked it up because I was like, well, if it has this kind of a tag on it, why would they spend money on that unless it was something good, you know? That's my thought process on it. When when manufacturers spend money on the tags or like that kind of tag or a tag in the in the material or whatever, then it's got to be good on some level, right? And then um, JG Hook. Size size 12 petite. I paid up for this too, $6.49. This sells for pretty good money. Um, I just thought this was really pretty. A really pretty sundress. What I really like about it is the waist. The waist cinches. I just thought that was neat. And I love the color. Perfect for spring and summer. Okay, I'm going to show you one more. And then I'll do my books. Excuse my reach. Nobody in the house, excuse my reach. YouTube. This took me 50 years. This was $6.49. Mind you, I get 20% off of everything because I have my, if you spend over $20, you get 20% off. This is Kaylee. Made in USA. Again, this tag ain't nothing special, but it has a made in USA. So I always look those up. So this is just a simple sundress on the short side. I think this will go for like $24, $25. But it's just pretty. It's lightweight. It's pretty. I don't know. Uh-oh, something else breakable in here. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold on, people. Hold on. <gasps> oh, I almost broke. Holy bejeez. Oh, get your life together, Jolene. I paid a dollar forty-nine for these. They're etched hollow and like a deep etch. And they're signed. Hold on. Can you see that? I don't know who it is. But it's like a deep etch on these. Like, I can't express to you what a deep etch uh, is on these. And I don't know who made them. Something, something. Who even knows? I swear it says noon. I made, oh, they're telling you when to have martinis. Have martinis at noon or anywhere thereafter. That's so fancy. Hold on, because there's four of them. I do not want to break them. I don't even, I didn't even, obviously I haven't researched it yet because signatures like that are just sometimes impossible. But um, when I saw them for $1.49, I was like, y'all didn't. Because you know Goodwill be marking up stuff. It's so pretty. And all different patterns. <gasps> Look at how pretty these are. Too bad I don't drink that much often. I could drink my water out of it. No, I couldn't. Who does that? 
not me. I could drink my pickle juice. Okay. I swear it says something. Blah. Legit. Legit. Doesn't that say blah? He's like, oh, I'll sign it. Bleh. Bleh. Anyway. <gasps> okay, here's... Do you... I get so excited about this stuff. $4.99. Now, I was watching... Who was I watching? I don't remember who I was watching. I mean, I have her on here, but I can't remember. She's like a psychologist or a behavior thing, and then she does thrifting on the side. Whatever. I paid $4.99, which was not bad. It is a Lauren Ralph Lauren dress. Here's the thing, people. Here's the thing. That is real leather, okay? That is real leather. Real leather. Because I touched it and I was like, oh, that feels like, it doesn't feel like it would peel. And then, and then, when you look for the other tag, And the other tag is just as fancy. And then I read it and it said professional dry clean by leather and suede expert. Oh my god. Um, hello. Beautiful. And it's nice. It's like heavy. Feels good. This is another one that I looked on that shelf forever. There is one Goodwill that I go to. I went to it once before when I, I didn't do clothes and then I've been back to it twice. It has so many good pieces of clothing. They don't know what they have. They price up the things that everybody knows to price up. They don't know what they have. And I ain't telling anybody where it's at, but they don't know what they have. 649, this is a size large. Patrons of Peace. Another good brand to look out for. How did I know this? I didn't. I just saw this at the store and thought, this is a great summer dress. And then again, I looked at that label and thought, that looks interesting. It looks kind of fancy, kind of anthropology. This might even be one of those. But it's just a nice dress. It's a nice falter dress. And then this is something I'm super proud of finding. Super proud of finding this. Because it has zero stains on it. This is the Vermont Country Store, which I love finding Vermont. $3.99 minus 20%. Vermont Country Store, extra large petite, has great stuff. Great stuff. This is a seersucker purple robe. And hello, how often do we find the tie thing? Hardly ever with these. This sells for over $40, okay? Come on. It's beautiful. I love Seersucker. I love it. I love it. I love people that dress in it. I love people that have that air of Seersuckerness about them. I love it. I have some pottery over there. I have some kitschiness over there. I found... La Crusade bowls and plates over there. But this video is already 24 minutes. So I will get you on part two. Might be today. Might be a different day. Might be later after I've showered from the dogs. Anyway, Jojo the Thrifty Teacher, please follow, like, subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Um, if you want to follow me anywhere, I have um, my store. It's Jojo Jojo's Thrifts. I don't know. Um, and then my Instagram, one of my th four Instagrams is Jojo the Thrifty Teacher. And that's where I put things that sold. I put things that are for sale. I don't put everything up there because I have like a thousand over maybe 2,000 things in my store. And that would just be ridiculous. Anyway, Jojo the Thrifty Teacher, thank you.